this is about a pound piece of swordfish. So we're talking about swordfish, something that's very lean. You'll see that bloodline in here. Don't worry about that, folks. It's not something that's going to really be distinctive in the taste. If you have a very, very big bloodline, I would say to get rid of it. But it's very seldom you'll find swordfish without that. Some chefs cut it out. I tend to let it go. It's not really uh, a problem in the taste. Um, this right here is the actual skin. It comes off easily, folks. As we cook it, you can pretty much peel this off. So don't worry about cutting that off at the minute. Now, you can grill, saute, broil, or pan fry this. Any way you want to do it. But I like to cut this up in smaller pieces because we're going to split this up for dinner. And we're going to have this with some sauteed veggies. As always, make sure you pat dry your uh, fish or your chicken or any protein as much as you can. Because the more moisture, the less crispiness. So I'm going to go ahead and get some paper towels. And I'm just going to wet this, well, dry this as much as I can. Now, talking about what's going to go in this, I mentioned that my sister Tammy gave me this recipe. Um, we got some capers. We got some onions. We have some tomatoes, some chicken stock, some cold, cold butter, folks. And we're going to talk about that again. Some roasted peppers here. And then I just wafered up some zucchini, some squash, and some bell peppers. Uh, we're just going to do a nice saute with the spice. And uh, we're just going to keep it all rolling real fast. Like I said, 20 minutes tops. These dishes are made with the sauce and the spice to show you how you can make simple, delicious recipes. Very inaffordable and very fast because it's all about saying you don't have to go and look for 50 million spices or a lot of salt to make the food taste great. All you need is the sauce and the spice. So I got my pan going up back again. We got it on high. Now I'm going to double whammy you. Now I'm using the sauce oil. Could always make me a little extra when I'm, you know, messing around with the sauce. Now I have my swordfish here. And what I mentioned was I want to cut these in smaller pieces. I would normally do this whole, but I'm just going to cut this in like three equal sized pieces. Don't judge me if it's a little off. I told you it was one of those buck wild weekends. Now I'm going to go ahead and rock out a little bit of the spice on here. Now, trust me, folks, if you want to go and do the sauce, you can do the sauce. It doesn't matter. That's the, the great thing about this. Now, when you see me use the sauce and the spice, it's normally very liberal because I can do that because I don't have a lot of sauce in either the spice or the sauce. Now, if you're going to overload the sauce or the spice on something, yes. Will the sauce after four tablespoons start to taste a little salty? Yes. But when you're using it liberally like a tablespoon or so, like I'm going to do on this piece of fish, it's a big difference. So I got this seasoned up pretty well on one side. I'm just going to lay this in the pan like that. And of course, I will always tell you, let me go back to school mode, lay it away from you, not towards you, because you don't want to splash over your clothes or anything. And then I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of extra sauce, or oil rather, a little bit of extra spice. Now this is pretty much a build sauce in the pan type recipe we're doing. If you don't want to do swordfish, you could do halibut, you could do shrimp, you could do flounder. Don't feel like you're locked into doing that. Let me clean my hands off. Take a look at that. Doesn't take long. Swordfish, yes. Riri, I love you too. It's a nice one out here today. And this is something, folks, definitely that you can take and grill. Definitely outdoors on a nice day like today. If you want to put this type of fish on your smoker, get a little extra flavor, you can go and rock that out as well. Now, this is a quick cooking fish, so you can see how it's got that nice look on it. Look at that, folks. And it doesn't take long to cook. It really doesn't. So you don't want to have this be prisoner and dry out because it's all things that we make. Always talk about letting them rest. You got to remember, no matter what your protein is, whether it's ribs, fried chicken, even salmon or shrimp or scallops, let it rest when you take it out. It makes a big difference, folks. So don't feel like you got to dig right into it. As tempting as it might be, let your proteins rest. Even your macaroni and cheese and lasagnas. I know it sounds crazy, but let it sit 15, 20 minutes before you cut into it. And then it actually re resettles and it holds its shape. And that's just a little tip I want to give to you. So I got my fish here. Look at this, both sides. Amazing, folks. Did you get to see that? Let me take my time to show you. 
This is going to be good. I pray that somebody out there is going to really attempt to try this because I'm telling you this is so, so easy. For all of you that have been following me, I just want to say thank you. Uh, you've been following me for the last, I guess, coronavirus shut in a little bit before then. You guys have been on board for about four or five months. I see the numbers and you're sharing, obviously, you're talking to friends about it. But I really hope that you're trying this salsa and spice on these recipes that we're doing. Um, because that's what it's all about. It's really encouraging you to get in the kitchen and have fun. So I'm going to get these out. Let me get another plate because two of these are going to be for me and the rest of the family going to fight for that right there. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. So this fish is coming out the pan. And like I said, I'm just gonna let this rest right here. And this is just the spice, folks. So if you wanna rock out the sauce with this, you can. Now we've got a little bit of oil in this pan right here. I'm just gonna dally this out of here. And just hold on, I'll show you what it's gonna look like. Pretty much I just wanna grab. Just so you can see, folks, what I'm doing with a paper towel. I'm not taking all the oil. I just want to dial up some of that oil. Don't worry about the black bits in here. That's just from the spice. Now I got my onions going in. Let's get in here. Get that going. Now we need the oil and we need that flavor because we want to saute these onions. For those that have never seen the sauce or the spice, well, you saw the spice, but this is the sauce. Like this good juicy, juicy oil on the top. I always say stir it up when you first get it to mix it up. You might need a bigger spoon, but I'm gonna rock out. I said about two scoops per pound. So we're gonna do a scoop and a half because I remember I used the spice as well. So I'm gonna saute this, these onions, drop in my capers. Let this go for a little bit. Believe me, folks, no salt, no pepper, nothing else is needed for this. It's a really, really, really simple dish. Like I said before, if you're not into seafood, go ahead and get you some tofu. Pat dry it as much as you can, season it with the sauce or the spice. Still follow through with the capers. We're gonna add some tomatoes and all that good stuff, and that's gonna be your dish, okay? So we have this going here. As you can see, the capers are looking lovely in there. We also have that the garlic in there. Let me go ahead and get some lemon juice here. So I pre-squeeze my lemon juice. So I'm going about a tablespoon of lemon juice because I like a little acidic flavor to this. A little bit of chicken stock. Just enough to make some sauce. That's all we're trying to do, folks. We're making some sauce. Very simple, folks. Very simple. And we want to get this to a boil boil. So we want to get this heat up high. Ooh, let me get a little. Mm. I'm gonna be honest with you. I need a little bit more lemon. So let's take that to two tablespoons of lemon juice. We got about a tablespoon or so of capers. And I know someone asked me last week, where's the recipes for this? Folks, I hope you got your pen and paper out because the sauce and the spice is all about you really taking these ideas and really making it yours because some people might like a little bit more sauce or a little bit less spice but as long as you got these ingredients, if you're not into capers, don't put capers in, put mushrooms in. If you're not into onions, get shallots or garlic. Whatever you like, you do. But I just want you to be able to feel like you're in class learning about the sauce and the spice and making it your own. So you see how the sauce started to thicken up and started to look like a glaze? Mm, and it tastes so daggone good. This right here is when you go in with this cold butter. Remember I talked to you about the cold butter. And if you don't remember, whenever you're gonna emulsify a sauce, and I got about a good half a stick of butter here. Don't let that scare you. We wanna whisk this in. I'm gonna take this off the heat because we don't need this off on the heat. Hold on. But I am gonna get my other pan on. Now we just wanna whisk this, folks, just like this. What's up, Nicole Smith? What's up, Desi Turner? Oh, yeah, we got some high big daddies out there. Look at the sauce, folks. Looking sexy, like the message is coming in. Caper, onions. You can use shallots if you have it. The sauce. 
a little chicken stock, and some cold butter. Now, the one thing I didn't add in, and I mentioned, was the tomatoes. Yes, because I wanted the tomatoes to still hold up in the sauce. I didn't want them mushy. I wanted them to have a, light, a slight warmness to them when I pour this over the fish. And if you don't do veggies, you can serve this over brown rice or over spaghetti or linguine or capellini. So that's good. I'm going to sit this in the back. Now, in this pan right here, I got me my veggies, folks. I got me a little bit of squash. Got some greens, some yellow. Let's throw some bell peppers in here. Let's balance it out with a little bit more green. And we're going to throw in a scoop of the sauce. Yes. This is how easy the veggies get. What's up, Kenyatta? I'm good. I'm good. Linda and Savannah, what's going on? You see y'all can talk and cook at the same time. Wow, we got Cynthia out there. We got Carol, looks awesome. My name is Natalie Smith. What's going on, Natalie Smith? What's up, my brother, Brian? Wow, we got Charles. Oh, add a little butter once. Yeah, Charles, you can add the butter in however you want, my brother. He said, put it a little bit at a time. I like to put them all in and emulsify it that way. It works for me, but folks, trust me. I won't steer you wrong. Now these veggies, we don't want to get too mushy or too hard that I put some color. Because we want this plate to be colorful. We got some Florida in the house. Where's Rico at? Rico, we miss you. I'm not sweating today. We got Little Rock, Arkansas in the house. Minnesota's on fire. Okay, here we go, folks. So now I got all my veggies here. We rolling. We got Richmond, Virginia in the house. We got the whole family in the house. I'm going to turn the heat off on this. Because I don't know about you. I remember as a kid, my mom overcooking the squash. And I'm like, man, that zucchini and squash and then yellow squash looked really good before it became a stew. <laughs> but that's because she had to worry about six little knuckleheads running around. So we're just going to layer this up. Look at the colors, folks. Just look at the plate. If you moms want to go and say, hey, you know what? I didn't make my baby's daddy or my father or my boo, whatever, a good dinner. Well, let's make a comeback. Minister Jose, where you at out there? This meal's gonna be made for you. So we got this right here. We got one piece of this sword face fish right here. I'm gonna put a little bit of this color on here, some of these carrots, I mean bell peppers, the roasted peppers. Give it some color. Not too much, just enough. Got my pan from the back. You know I gotta give this a taste. And you know I'm doing this on purpose because I can double dip in my house. Tammy, 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 Tammy. Mm. 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 Kelman's gonna come home and be real angry. Cause ain't gonna be none of this left. Now the chef and me, hold tight. Oh my goodness. Folks, yes, I hear y'all talking about, get it, look, it's like the paparazzi. Let me get in, I want an autograph. I want to know what it's like. I don't know what to say. Oh, that looks good. I might have to cut my arm off and pat myself on the back. What's up, Jacksonville, Florida? Folks, swordfish, if you've never had before, caper, Tomato butter sauce. Oh, they put the spotlight on this. This is like hustler, a dancer. Where you at, J Lo? We just took a picture. We got the zucchini sauteed with some bell peppers, roasted peppers in the sauce. We use a little bit of the spice on the actual swordfish. And we also added some sauce into the sauce itself. So back to me talking about the sauce and the spice. Message me, address, amount. We'll tell you how we're going to get it to you. Um, make sure you put your name as well. Folks, try these recipes out. Simply Done, Well Done is the name of my cookbook. 
I wish I would have did it with the sauce because it's simply done well done um, with the sauce. But we could talk enough about this. I'm going to do this for you. The one thing about the swordfish, you don't need a knife. You just cut through this with a fork. And you just go ahead. You see that white meat? <laughs> Columbus, Ohio says, send me some. What's up from L.A.? Where can I get the sauce? Somebody tell Kelly where she's going to get the sauce set. Guys, I'm going to get it in this sauce because I'm a sauce guy. I don't know if anybody out there is a real sauce person. That made me sweat. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. Did I just smack? I think I did. They're saying yeah, they did. Folks. Swordfish. You don't have to cook it long. It cooks fast. It's a meaty white fish. Really good and solid. No bones. Good for the kids. A little pricey. But you won't need a lot of swordfish. Believe me. One pound would do four people. The lemon sauce with the butter. Tomatoes and capers. They got all that fish getting really wet and juicy. Because it's a dry fish if you overcook it. But if you cook it just right, it just works. The zucchini, crunchy. The bell peppers. The yellow squash. The landscapers are coming out. I guess they know it's lunchtime. Mm. But for y'all out there, you got to make this yourself. Get the sauce, get the spice. Follow me on Instagram, folks. I'm going to be doing some pop-up stuff on Instagram. Chef McCargo. And my mama's calling me for a plate right now.